Hi, my name is Sean Smith. Today we're gonna to take a look at my new listing in San Diego. This is a 2020 Beneteau Oceanus 41.1 that's very loaded. Join me for a quick walkthrough and tour of the boat. Starting up at the bow, we'll take a look around at some of the custom graphics that was done on this boat. The Beneteau Seahorse worked into the boot stripe and matching the cove stripe as well. Uh, this, this boat has an ultra anchor, which is aftermarket, beautiful stainless anchor with the ultra uh, swivel as well. And a couple of cool additions up here for the Code Zero and asymmetric spinnaker. There's a two to one halyard with this really nice block and Tylaska shackle here to attach to the head of either the spinnaker or Code Zero. And then for the spinnaker, a tack line will go through this Antal ring, which was lashed on with Spectra. It's a really nice and clean way to do a adjustable tack line. If you're using the Code Zero, there is a continuous line furler that attaches to this ring, and then the furling line will go through these leads on the starboard side, so that way you can furl and unfurl that Code Zero from the cockpit right there at the helm. Walking up forward, you can see the recessed lighting inside the boat. There's LED lighting, which illuminates um, really nice in that forward cabin. You'll see when we get inside. Large um, hull side windows, and you can see um, this cellar. Uh, the owner of this boat has some really nice additions like the covers on the fenders, covers on the uh, shrouds coming down to the chain plates, custom graphic for the boat name along the side, and coming back to the canvas as well. This has a silica Dodger Bimini in connector from Memo's custom canvas here in San Diego with a three-quarter enclosure out of mesh, which is super nice. Um, this allows you to still have some breeze, but protects you from the sun. You can work in the cockpit with the computer and um, use that as a the cockpit as an extra room, really, with this partial enclosure. Or if you're in Catalina at the islands, it's gonna keep you a little bit protected from the weather. Right now, the transom is down. It's a really nice large swim step with a folding ladder and also a, a little location you could put in a barbecue off the transom so you can stand back there and cook. This boat he also did a custom uh, hoist. This is a davit for the outboard engine. So if you get a dinghy and outboard, you can use this little crane to hoist the motor onto this white um, mount to mount the outboard engine to. Boarding on the port side, or actually starboard rather, uh, on both the port and starboard side, you have these gates to enter. So you can back the boat in and walk through the transom or use either side like we just did. A couple of little touches that this boat has, these even these nice little Spectra poles help you when you're opening up the rigging, which is a, something uh, done custom on this boat. The Dodger has Macrolon, so it's very, very transparent. And then I really like this canvas. It's a silica sunbrella. So it's acrylic, a really nice sunbrella cloth with a little bit extra texture. Moving into the cockpit. The 41.1 has a really spacious cockpit. So the twin helm design, the hard shines of this hull going all the way aft. So you've got this real nice wide transom with pop up seats. This is really cool, they lock into place so you can have a little bit more standing room to use the cockpit shower back here um, or just for uh, walking around the boat. And if you want seating, it simply folds down. And on the starboard side, this is where we can bring that transom up. So I'll show you how that works. Real easy, if you're backing the boat into a slip, you can back the boat in, then drop this transom down and walk right off the back of the boat. Or if you're in Catalina, that's real simple to get the transom up and down to uh, swim or leave the boat, get on a dinghy. Really simple. And then these aft lifelines have custom covers, but these remove so you can really open up the back walking uh, on and off the boat. Let's start here at the starboard helm. You've got 
uh, composite wheels, really nice. Um, this has three electric winches, so your, um, your uh, primary and cabin top winches are electric. Uh, there's one cabin top winch that's electric, and then the other one is manual. Um, back here, there is a BNG multifunction display at each helm, so in a good position just outboard of the helm, so you can see your chart or wind speed and depth on either location. So right now it's got the sail steer up, which is a nice display. It even shows your rudder indicator in the middle. So if I turn the rudder, you can see the rudder is now 15 degrees um, to starboard. And then this is also custom, so you always know where the center of the wheel is. There's a little braid there. At the starboard, uh, or port rather, at the port helm, this is the primary. So this is where your anchor control, this is a chain counter for electric windlass autopilot buttons, bow thruster, and throttle control are located. This is also where our Yanmar diesel display is located, and the shore power inlets. This is a courtesy light, so you can turn on the lights at night um, and easily find all of this stuff. Let's scroll across the cockpit here. Enormous amount of space, and the center, has the deluxe cockpit table from Beneteau with a large chart plotter option. And this also rotates from side to side too, so you can angle it to either helm. There's really nice teak wood throughout, real teak wood, which is oiled. And then this is teak that's been varnished, so it's real durable, you can heat on it. There's a refrigerator in the cockpit table, and then a dry storage forward. A lot of storage, and this also has a charging inlet charge cell phones while you're out and a lamp that plugs into here for lighting uh, in the cockpit. There's also lights inside the main sheet arch, some LEDs to really light up the cockpit. Um, as we come forward, it's good while we're talking about this main sheet arch with the lights in it, this really opens up the cabin top here. It, the main sheet is now up on top, so we've got a long extended um, companionway. So there's a couple of doors that open up and that gives us a 45 degree staircase coming in with a ton of space. Really easy um, walking in and out of the boat. Um, so as we walk down, take a look into the interior. This boat has the beautiful light oak interior. This is a two cabin, one head layout. So as we pan across the galley, on the port side aft, there is a really large storage area with access into the storage garage. So instead of a cabin and a bed here, this boat has an extra storage garage, which is where the spare sails are currently stored. You've got batteries, tools, and the generator. This boat has a generator and air conditioning which is pretty rare for a 41.1 to have um, have both. So you're very well equipped for cruising on this 41.1. Inboard are the selectors for the generator. So you just push a button to start the generator up and then switch over to take power from it. Lots of storage cabinets, which are above the battery breakers for the engine the house and also breakers for winches, inverter, and the electric windlass. Coming forward, this is a big sink, which is stainless. And there are three taps, as well as a cutting board underneath this. The three taps are for fresh water out of your freshwater tanks. This is going to be a uh, raw water, salt water, with a pump on the floor, so that's manual. And then this is a really nice feature that was added uh, aftermarket for drinking water. So there's two filters, including a UV filter, so that you can drink the water uh, that's in the tanks, and it'll be ultra purified. Coming forward, forward you have a gimbaled stove and oven, and a large 
refrigeration cabinet, which is both front loading as well as top loading into the same compartment. And there's a freezer, which this looks like new. There's still the um, label on it. A uh, lock releases the refrigerator, and then we can close it down. There's quite a bit of storage up above the galley, and then also a microwave. There's storage behind as well. Quite a bit of galley storage, and some secret storage underneath the floor, which while we're in the galley, we can take a look at. There's a little flip-up handle, and then you have wine storage, or this could be food or beverage storage underneath, which is really nice that it's on hinges, so you can open up both of these. Let me go to my sunglasses. Pretty nice design here to have some additional storage underneath the floor. This has the brown oak floors, which was a um, aftermarket upgrade from the factory. Blends, or not aftermarket, it was a factory option upgrade from the Beneteau factory, which I think matches really nice with the light oak and the, the uh, trim color that Beneteau uses. Here's the upholstery. It's really like new in this boat with the U-shaped salon table which has the XL extension, another factory option. Leading over to the port side settee. This is a great design. You have a nice seat here, but also you can swing your legs forward and use this as a forward facing nav station. You can see sailing vessel wayfinder here, accurate records and everything on board. Um, just outboard is a VHF radio, charging and also a fusion stereo. These are pretty cool too, so you got extra lighting. Moving aft, we have the handheld VHF radio, Psy Marine. This is an aftermarket upgrade done here in San Diego to show you accurate data on your batteries. This is the cabin temperature and also your tank levels. It's a beautiful screen and great visual so you know our batteries are at 100 where the um, voltage levels are, tankage. That's a, it's a really nice system, which is a cool upgrade from the factory. You have some of that data here, but this iMarine is far more uh, sophisticated data. On this electrical panel, this is a DC, so it's easy to turn on your lights, navigation, and then your AC is really simple here. So battery charger, AC plugs, and water heater are to the left. Um, and then after that is your thermostat for the air conditioning in the boat as well as the inverter control. So really simple systems to use. And while we're talking about this, this boat also has Siren Marine, which is uh, an app on your phone that will show if the boat's plugged in and charging. It'll show if your bilge pump goes off. So it's kind of a smart boat function, uh, which was added to this boat. Really nice feature. And it also, while we're talking about that, come back to the companionway, has a motion sensor. So you can have this set up to where if somebody boards the boat, it'll alert your phone. And also geo fencing. So if the boat moved, if someone took the boat out, uh, it would alert your phone as well. Let's take a look at the cabins now. So the forward is your master. There's a big centerline berth here and double doors to get in. So you can really open this up if you'd like. Inside you have a storage locker, air conditioning. There is uh, some LED lighting as well as uh, charging outlets up here as well. And then there are three opening hatches above head, overhead, which have a screen, a shade, or an opening hatch for ventilation. There's one a large one forward, and then two smaller ones aft. This uh, forward bed um, was an aftermarket upgrade. This is a mattress maker's mattress with custom yacht bedding. Super, super elegant and very comfortable. Moving aft, we'll go to the guest cabin, which is on the starboard side aft. 
Also another um, yacht bedding job back here, which is really nice, comfortable mattress. And then these are the cockpit cushions. So another silica sunbrella, really beautiful canvas. The backrest to the cushions have cup holders in them. There's quite a bit of storage back here as well for your guests, as well as air conditioning with its own thermostat. There is a door here to get into the head, but there's a second one accessible from the salon area. So you have two doors getting into the head, which has an electric Jabsco toilet, a sink, some storage, as well as a large separate shower. Separate shower stall, quite a bit of space. I'm six foot one and have a couple inches still overhead in here. Last thing we'll take a look at is into the engine room. So you just lift up a little, the gas struts will help raise the stairs all the way up. And now we have access into our Yanmar diesel with a sail drive, as well as fresh water selectors for the water tanks. So really easy to get to and it's labeled very nice. Accumulator tank and a, and a pump. And then on the other side, there's a upgraded aftermarket Raycor fuel filter, the sea strainer for raw water going through the engine. And then um, everything in this boat is labeled from the factory. So when you open it up, you know what you're looking at. The air conditioning intake here, which has a filter, really easy to get in and uh, uh, really well laid out design. Thanks for joining me on this quick tour of the 41.1 Wayfinder. Feel free to reach out to me right away to find out if this boat's still available and to get on board yourself. I look forward to talking to you really soon.